Hello, this is your boy Carlos, and welcome to this Monday, and it's pretty windy outside. Um, last week, if you can recall, for the people who watched, I had to record two videos in one day because of the bad weather, and we did not have electricity the past week. But last weekend, or I mean last Monday, I recorded a Romans Road a message and uh, why did Jesus die message which the Roman Road's message is about salvation but today I'm going to discuss what do you do after you give your life to Christ okay so let's get started I am going to talk to you about what to do after you give your life to Christ Giving your life to Christ is an important thing to do, but it is not finished. After you give yourself to Christ, it is very important that you get baptized. Baptism is the out outward act that symbolizes the inward phenomenon of coming to and accepting Jesus Christ as real, as God incarnate as, as the sacrificial means by which those who believe in him can be forever re reconciled to God. The purpose of baptism is to give visual testimony of our commitment to Christ. It is the first step of discipleship. In other words, obedience. Acts 8.26-39 Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Rise and go toward the south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desert place. And he rose and went, and there was an Ethion, a church, a court of a court official of Candace, queen of the Anthusians. Sorry if I mispronounce these words because they're hard. Who was in charge of all her treasures? He had to come to Jerusalem to worship. And he was returning, seated in his chariot. And he was reading the prophet Isaiah. And the spirit said to Philip, Go over and join the chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, and asked Do you understand you are reading? Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Now the passage of the scripture that he was reading was like a sheep. He was led to the slaughter and like a lamb before its shearer is silent. So he opens not in his mouth. In his humiliation, Justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. And the irritant said to Philip, about whom I ask you, does the prophet say this about himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and Beginning with the scripture, he told him the good news about Jesus. As they were going along the road, they came up to some water, and the rich said, See, here is water. What prevents me from being baptized? And he commanded the chariot to stop, and they both went down into the water, filled up and the irritant, and he baptized him. 
And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord carried Philip away, and they each said to him, No one, and went on his way rejoicing. The Greek word for baptize, the Greek word for baptism is baptism. The English letters look like this baptizo. The Greek word baptizo literally means to dip or to immerse. So that word translates to dip, which means to you know come down and up like. You're dipping something in the water, whatever. The symbolism of of baptism is that just as Jesus Christ died and was buried, so the baptized person is submerged under water, either physically or symbolically, which symbolically is, uh, you know, when you're symbolizing your Christian and symbolize that you get baptized physically is when you go under the water and back up. And as just as Christ rose again from beneath the earth, so the baptized person rises again from beneath the water. Under the water is the believers all dead, heavy, and Suffocating life. Out of the water cleansed by the blood of Christ is the believer's new, fresh, purposeful life. In my opinion, this is just me saying, bapti- baptism is like a wedding ring. People put on a wedding ring as a symbol of their commitment and devotion. In the same way, baptism is a picture of devotion and commitment to Christ. A wedding ring reminds people and tells others that they belong to someone special. In the same, in the same way, baptism reminds us and others they are devoted to Christ and belong to Him. So. All this is saying is, uh, I know I read fast just in case. So in case you don't understand, just read after the comments again. But I always put these notes in the comments anyways. But just in case you're wondering, in my opinion, to me, it's a great act of obedience if we follow Christ in becoming baptized. And I understand as a Christian, you need to continue to walk your walk, read the Bible, walk in life and faith in what Christ has for you. But that's why I titled this message, What to Do After You Get Saved, because not everybody understands the whole concept of baptism. But here, I'm mainly focusing on the water aspect of it because hopefully you were baptized when you got saved by the blood of Jesus, you know, symbolically. Okay, um, like I said before, if you, you like what you see and you like what you hear, hit that thumbs up and Subscribe to my channel and notifications will be in your phone. Okay, this is Carlos signing out. Uh, Have a good day and God bless.